This is Real Naughty. You're welcome to Real Naughty. Welcome to Real Nollywood. Alright everyone, it's exciting to know you're watching another interesting edition of your one-stop movie program on television, Real Nollywood. Well, my name is Colin Stock and you're welcome. There's a whole lot of excitement going down the motion picture industry in Nigeria and all my interesting segments we will be sharing them one after the other through Nollywood story. Of course, you know that knowledge is just existing and we have making of blockbuster films. And also current events is ongoing in the industry of Nolly event. Don't forget it, Nolly Cabot Richard and Mormon are coming for you on Real Nolly. So you see, it's a full package of what the movie industry is all about and that's what Real Nolly is all about too. <laughs> Alright, so, um, first things first, let's go have a, uh, a start in a lighter note with knowledge is just gisting. There's facts and figures about what celebrities do and how interesting it is. Then uh, if you do not define yourself with all my knowledge, then you know you're not making news. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. I'll be right back. Knowledge is just just it. The 11th Abuja International Film Festival announces nominees for its 2014 Film Festival which opens from the 23rd to 26th the season at the Silverbed Galeria Abuja. Best feature film, the nominees for Best feature film are Invasion 1897 by Last Dog Udwa and Maswe, Lord and Romance, Danjuma DJ, Dreamwalker, Neville Osai, Twist of Fate, Finger Bedo, Where Talent Lies, Obike Ikenna, Lax Silhouette, Charles Mwabai, and Irubi Adebayo Tijani. And that's our best feature film, that's the first category. Our best feature film foreign in that the nominees for best feature film foreign. Best feature film foreign are Chinese, Chinese Zodiac, China, The Grand Master, China, Walking to School, China, The Major, Russia, The Superstition, Uganda. Just just it. I don't want to marry now. Halima, you are too young to understand. You are young and this is the right time. Daphne Linus recently released the official thriller to her next feature title, Dry, Story on the VVF Disease. Are you sick? I told you, Dr. Zara, these people can be crazy! I want to be a girl again. Can you get that for me? Oh. The curb this horrible outbreak. Oh. Oh. Stay safe, stay safe, stay in your place. Yeah. Lock your doors, clean the yard, clean the whole know. place. Liberia born Guinean Ed Waston releases a documentary on Ebola. Hey guys, my name is Ebola Nelson, and I'm joining Ed Waston to help create awareness about Ebola. Just just it. kept searching for a time and a season when we will have enough resources and the wherewithal in order to take, do a film until the opportunity came in 1992. Surge of wonderful African films from all over the continent. It's amazing to come all the way to Nigeria to 
uh, participate in something where the arts are being elevated. When I talk about um, acting to my students, I tell them that acting is 20% talent, which is the gift that God gives you. A lot of them wanted Ramsey to play the role I played, which is Shola. It was going to be a stereotype. You know, because putting Ramsey in that role, it would just be the normal Ramsey that everybody knows. I decided to change it and, you know, play on people's intelligence. Today on True Nollywood Story is Abia State Bond filmmaker Chipudi Joseph Obasi. He is a writer, director, and editor. A graduate of computer science from University of Nigeria in Suka. He has worked on various projects which include the Dumb Kid and Virtual Cases, both short films. His feature film debut is the surrealistic art house flick Jim and Joan, which was screened at the Echo International Film Festival. Critically acclaimed as the most daring film at the festival and compared to Lars von Triller's expressionism. CJ has also worked as an editor on other productions such as Apostate, a future film, and commercial for various brands. He is currently in final stage of post-production for a horror thriller titled Ojuju under his production name, Fairy Film Company. I they tell you, say, I see them with my two korokoro ladies, you don't even talk anything. You be don't forget, say, I shall not ask I don't want to be concerned. No worry. It was so concerned, just to watch everything I feel. Technicalities was not left out. CJ focused his strengths on special makeup effects. A film like um, Ojuju, you, you have two approaches to it. You have, the, like you said, the visual effects, and then you have the special makeup effects, which is the stuff you do on set. Um, for me, um, when I was making Ojuju, I, I had this preconceived notion in my head that I was going to try as much as possible to keep the visual effects on the minimum. You know, I mean, let's face it, one of the biggest challenges we have in Nigeria is being able to create visual effects that is um, um, as good as or, or you know, uh, on par with, you know, um, films, foreign films, because the truth is we don't have the kind of budget they do. And there's really very little you can do with the kind of budget we have, the mega budgets we have uh, for making films. So I decided to go to go the minimalist, you know, um, route instead for Ojuju. So most of the things you see in Ojuju is, you know, special makeup effects, effects done on set um, in creating the gore, in creating the blood, or uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, there's very little, very little in the in the in the area of, of visual effects. And one of the reasons why I decided to do that, besides the fact that you know, because of the besides the mega budget excuse, is um, the fact that for me, I wanted I wanted to bring it home. I wanted to drive home that authenticity. Of course, this film has new discoveries in terms of new acts. Oh yeah, um, as a filmmaker, it's, I've always been a, a huge fan of working with. Um, fresh faces, new people. Uh, for me, I, I think, you know, um, there's an extra touch that a fresh face brings to the audience, to the screen, especially when they're able to do extraordinary things, things that you normally are not used to seeing, and they're able to bring it to the, you know, to, to that particular um, piece of art that you're doing. So for me, um, I work with a lot of new people. Um, Though some of them seasoned, uh, um, they may not be the biggest names in the industry right now, but they are definitely amongst the cream of the crop. Um, I worked with Gabriel um, Afolayon, I worked with uh, um, Omar Dada, who is a very you know, intense and you know, uh, spectacular actress. Um, I worked with um, um, Kelechi Debe, um, a, whole lot, a whole lot of them. I, I worked with um, a guy called Paul Nutomi, and um, he didn't have any lines in the film, but He's somebody that um, I would say you guys should, you know, watch out for. CJ is definitely on the move as he gets set for his next project, his exploration into genre films. Because I, I feel, I constantly have this feeling that I got into this a bit too late, you know, filmmaking. This, you know, considering the fact that I've harbored this, you know, dream ever since I was probably three years old, 
and I don't feel like I, I, I came into this, you know, a bit late. I'm always thinking of the next project, you know. Uh, it was a project I wanted to make before with you, but, you know, like I said, due to budget constraints, uh, due to the, the fact that, you know, filmmakers are not able to, you know, tap into any funds or, you know, especially new filmmakers in Nigeria. I, I just decided to shelve it for a bit. So, but that's the project I'll be working on after it is called Old Town. Um, uh, I, call, I call it my um, exploration into genre filmmaking. It's it's a, a mix of you know crime, drama, you know um, all those elements you know you would expect in genre films. I'm Chukudi Joseph Obasi, and you're watching Real Nollywood. My life's like a subway. way. Oh, I know this love don't last. Look at me, tell me what you see. Born Nollywood actress Genevieve Unaji is no doubt one of the sexiest in Nollywood. I have no idea. Look, I just put on stuff from my wardrobe and stuff I've had for a long time. I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> Tiffany Amber, this is beautiful. Can you turn around? Let's look at it very well. Um, Whoa, 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 this is what I'm talking about. Really. Um, okay, I have to think about that. Um, uh, I am wearing. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Karen Millen. Yo, we got that. <laughs> Karen Millen. All right, it's beautiful. I tell you, it fits, and that's what the red hair right, is all thank about. You. And she is definitely a fashionista. Thank you. Baby. Uh -huh. You gotta come up for this one, yeah? She has ably represented different brands as an ambassador from Lux, Lunamig, and recently the Range Rover Sport. Yeah, no, that's not, I mean, I, I'm usually surprised. For more on what your celebrities wear at events, stay with us on Nolly Cabot Retro. It's totally different. Yeah. It's amazing that people out there are seeing our hard work and they're encouraging us to do more to turn out to turn out more quality films. And uh, Royal Arts Academy, I'm happy with the work we're all doing together, coming together as one to bring about quality, quality products. I have to say, it, it, you know, MM keeps getting better with everything she does. I haven't seen the movie, but before I left, I watched the making of the film, you know, and I was, I was thoroughly impressed. I almost wanted to cry because I knew she could do it. And I had to tell her, I know you can do it, you've got to do this. And she did. She said, she said Jesus. Jesus, what are we going to do? <laughs> Who are we going to call? You will do it though. You will do it like Academy always brings out the best. I'm just waiting to go inside and see the movie because I've seen some clips already. I can't wait to see the whole movie. And I'm itching to go inside and see I love the fact that it's contemporary, it's, it's, it's modern, it's had, it also had the African feel to it, you know. And um, I'm excited to see it. I'm really excited to see it. Oh, no, no, yeah. Man, it's been really, really good. I've been really impressed with what I've been seeing. And it's not really shocking because MM is really, I mean, she's really, really good. I'm here to have fun, and I know it's going to be a really good box office breaking movie. <laughs> Awesome and I'm humbled in fact. I thank God. Oh, dance your thing. Oh yes, I love dancing. 
I love it. I'm so angry I'm not in the movie. <laughs> I love dance. I do a lot of dance outside of acting, not myself. <laughs> Very well, oh. Uh, hey, don't try me there. Please, can you do us the honor? Hey, just only, just if, small step. If only this dress can allow me just. Just small. You know? Just, uh, 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 don't let me go there. Uh, uh, how's it got you? Uh, 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 uh. Everyone is a great happening here at the Silverbird Galeria and guess what we've come to see another film that has been given back to in the motion picture industry in Nigeria and this one is titled Off the Hook and a drama series titled Chantel all coming from Diamond Pictures production. So what are you wearing tonight? Um, what I'm putting on does not have a particular designer name. Okay. I just went into the market and match so make them. Yes. <laughs> Chick classic. Chick classic. Mm -hmm. Um Max and Spencer's pants, Max and Spencer's shirt. But the blazer I don't really know. I think it's, it's Italian design. Oh, okay. The watch Movado. Soul beats. My sunglasses chubby. Doctor, don't jump into hasty conclusions. He's indeed cuckoo. <laughs> Um, of the book is actually a movie shot in Ghana. We shot Diamond Pictures shot this movie in Ghana. It was directed by Andy Boyo, and uh, the, the the movie is centered on love. Um, there, there, there is a character that was betrayed by someone someone he loved, and as a result of that, he became insane. Hi. You love me, I love you, baby. You love me, my baby. You love me. Um, yeah, we're gonna be seeing off the hook, which is like um, romantic comedy about crazy people. Let's just call it a crazy, crazy, crazy movie. And in, a, in a good way. In a good way. It's really funny. It's something that you haven't seen because I, I, I think you just have to watch it to know what I'm talking about. And then we're also gonna see Shante, which is like a series coming up. So this is the first installment of Shantae. But, um, we will admit him. Andy. Andy has come a long way. Even before the industry blew up like this, we and Andy used to go and uh, uh, get uh, films. We call it, we call it Legend, of, Legend of Nollywood. A uh, uh, legend movie. We show it every Friday night. We get foreign films, we download it to broadcasting tapes, and. We, Get the pay for the rice and we show them in Nigeria here. So it's come a long way. Him, Ben Bruce, Philip Timmer, that used to be the gang then. Far back then, that was, was our gang then. Was, was the city, uh, somewhere off Falolu. That was the normal gang then. So he's been in the for a very long time. He's not new. Uh, he's, um, like I say, he's an actor's director. He's, um, he's a wonderful person. He loves new talent. He's amazing. We had a lot of hitches on set. We, we couldn't get locations right. We couldn't get um, things going on right. But by the grace of God, we, ha we, we pulled it out. And I thank God we, we, we did a great movie. The fact that it was something different from the ordinary. Yeah. It's about mad people. You know what that means? Uh -huh. And uh, to be called upon, yes, to be called upon to come and take charge, uh, that was quite a challenge. But I loved it. Quite an experience, something different from what I must say I, I have been doing, you know, over the years. You know, very different. Yeah, it was a wonderful experience working with uh, Mr. Andy Boyo. It was a great experience working together with Mr. Alex Osifu, Jackie, Too Sweet, and uh, Mary Remy, and a host of other actors and actresses interestingly i 
fell in love with the storyline of the movie because it's different from whatever I've done. Uh, it kind of pushed me to the limit in terms of characterization, in terms of doing something different from the lover boy and the hardcore boy that I normally play in movies. You have very lips. Can you please change the subject? The Ghana industry, I think, is part of Nollywood. In fact, they call them Nollywood, so, so we don't see ourselves as different, really. Because when, when they do their premieres, they come and do the premiere of their movies, too. I will go to two premieres, so, and most of the time, you don't even, we, don't, we don't see them as Ghana actors, we see them as part of us, so it's all part of the same industry, so we're all Nollywood, so there's no differentiation as, as it's real. Look, this is a combination of very nice things, you understand? You know me, I like to break the rules. Sometimes you and I meet on the record and I tell you I'm wearing strictly African. You know, so this is a bit of British, a bit of um, hip-hop, a bit of, you know, a bit of everything. So then, it always works. Look, I make it work. It has to work, you know? Yeah, the job that I do has to do with making things work, so it must work. Um, actually, to be honest with you, I know my shoe is Christian Louboutin, and um, my trouser is Burberry, but the suit I'm wearing, I don't remember. Yes, I'm sorry, I don't remember. I don't want to lie. Yes, um, this is our third year in this in the industry. So we have actually lined out a series of activities, and this is just one of them um, that we have lined out. This is the premiere of um, a movie titled Up the Hook. Well, we're going to have a gala night, and all the actors and actors in the um, crew members that have acted with us will be nominated for something okay. if if they are good or if they are good of course Until she tells me your name, I'm not moving an inch from this. But the interesting part of heaven is whenever I come to heaven, the angels hit the side of their head with their wings. And it shouts, over them, 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 over them. Even God gets jealous sometimes. All right, it's great to have you back on the program, Real Nollywood. Excitement is up there and the activities in the industry is quite interesting. But I want to let you know you could be a part of this entertaining movie program on television, like showcasing what you have to do or what you're all about in your stakeholder in the industry. Just know that this is a program for the movie people. And if you're a stakeholder, this is the right place for you. There are numbers on your TV screen. Just SMS only details of your own entertainment event that has to do with the industry and will be at your service. And remember people, I've said this a couple of times, please do not own C Parent Companies of Nigerian Filmmakers is killing the industry. Please let's go to the cinema and support Nigerian filmmakers and what called good film for the world for money. Yeah. <laughs> I also want to say very big appreciation to Pure Summer Collection for making me look good on the show. Yeah, I think I tried. <laughs> Alright, so keep a date with us on Real Nollywood for more infotainment in the motion picture industry in Nigeria. My name is Colin. Colin Stalker. Bye-bye.